everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit. Today I'm playing Bloons TD6 Daily Challenge using No Monkey Knowledge and Gwendolyn as a hero. Uh, with No Monkey Knowledge, it means that anybody at any level can follow along, and any monkey knowledge you have will just be a little boost. So I'm going to start by putting a dark monkey in the center, and I will upgrade it 102 for now. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to razor sharp, sharp shots, so 202. The next thing I'll buy is a sniper. I should have enough money. Okay, I'm going to place it like right here on the edge so he can see straight through the spillway thing. And I'm going to want to upgrade it to 020 and then 1. Two zero in that order. So night vision goggles. Okay, and then I'll give it shrapnel shot. And then finally I'll give it full metal jacket. Okay, now I should be able to save up for my Gwendolyn. I am going to take my sniper and change it from first to, to strong on its targeting. Um, that way it will, the dark monkey can take care of the smaller ones, but we'll go ahead and let the sniper knock him down so that he can do so. Okay, now I'm going to place my Gwendolyn. I'll place it right there. And I'm actually going to take that off of auto start. So I have more time to place things. Okay, the next thing I want to do is buy a druid, and let's see, I'm going to put my druid up here by Gwendolyn, and I'm going to upgrade it 030, so I don't have quite enough money for the full upgrade yet, but should after this round. Okay, so the Druid is at 030. I'm going to also put it on strong.
Okay, the next item I'm going to buy is bouncing bullets on my sniper. And then, around 40, I'm going to go ahead and buy a bomb shooter. I'll put it over here by my druid and my Gwendolyn. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade the bomb shooter uh, to 240. Oh, I did lose a few on that round, so that's not good. Let me change my sniper to first. Okay, and then I'll upgrade to 240 on my bomb shooter. Okay, around 40, use your bomb shooter. And that gets you through the daily challenge. Uh, if, it, if that's as far as you go, you can stop watching the video now. If you want to be extra and try to go to round 100 with me, stick around and let's see what we can do. The first thing I'm going to do is upgrade the sniper all the way to Elite. And I'm going to use my sniper supply drops every time they're available. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it large caliber since we lost some of those camos. It wasn't fast enough, so maybe if we make it a little stronger.
Okay, go ahead and upgrade to the Elite Sniper. That'll make him a lot faster. <coughs> All right, um, the next thing I'll do, I'm going to place another Sniper. Let's see, I'll place it here. Once again, you want to get like the whole track going that way. <coughs> I'm going to upgrade this one. I'm going to leave it with camo as well. But I'm just going to make it faster. Okay, so I'll give it this semi-automatic. And then full automatic, and then I'll give it Elite Defender when we have 11,900. Now that I've got the Elite Defender. I think I am going to try and add a Super Monkey. But first I want to remove an area. Actually, I want to I want to get some banana farms first. We're gonna need some more money, so I'm gonna add a couple of banana farms, upgrade them. I'll do five banana farms. Okay, on round sixty, I'm going to use my bomb shooter ability. go ahead and upgrade these farms to uh, 320. So I'll work on the farms right now. Okay, I think these two snipers are going to be enough for round 63. We'll see if I'm wrong. Okay, 
Okay. Use my sniper drop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my druid to two four zero. It's gonna give it some extra vines to throw out. And then I'm going to add a village. I don't want it right next to these because I'm going to want it to cover the, the super monkey that I add. Okay, I want to go ahead and give this bigger radius jungle drums. And then I'm going to give it radar, which is going to give, most importantly, it's going to give my Druid and my Gwendolyn camo ability. I'll add a super monkey right here. I kind of want to center it. I definitely want it in the range of the, oh, he won't fit there. He's so fat. Okay. Um. I'm fat shaming the super monkey. <laughs> All right. I want to put it as close to the center as I can. Okay. If it's almost in the center. So put him over as far as you can, as close to the center. Okay, then I wanted to give it super range and epic range. And then I want to start upgrading it. And you can use your bomb shooter on 66 on those reinforced MOABs if you want. I'll go ahead and upgrade to Sun Avatar. I'm going to use my bomb shooter on some of these um, BFBs. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my little dart monkey as far as he'll go. So it'll go to a juggernaut. It, fortunately, we can't get it to an ultra juggernaut. So we'll have to make do. And there's no ninja in this map. So that's why I don't have a ninja in the middle. Ninja would be my choice. Okay, 
and I'll use a bomb shooter for that BFB on 74. Okay, now I actually want to take and put a wizard about the center over here. Like opposite of my super monkey. And then I want to upgrade it. 402. And I'll use the bomb shooter on the BFBs when it's available. The next thing I'm going to upgrade to is an Arc Mage. As soon as I've got enough funds, I need 27,000 for that. Okay, so Arc Mage. Make that wizard as strong as possible. Bomb shooter again on BFBs. Okay. Oh, this round's not quite finished. One more to go. <laughs> I thought the round was over. All right. Uh, what I'm going to add now, I am going to add some necromancer. So I'll place another wizard over here, put it in the center. I am going to upgrade it. You know, I'm going to go ahead and open this. I don't want to upgrade it the top path, so I'll go ahead and upgrade this. I'm going to upgrade it 0 to 4. Okay, I'm going to use the bomb shooter when it's available. See my necromancer, I need 23,000. Just using the bomb shooter when it's available. Collecting my bananas and my supply drop, of course, every time. All right, now I'll go ahead and upgrade this to Prince of Darkness. And then I'm going to add some more necromancers. I'll upgrade the new necromancers to. Uh, zero two four. thought I was going to upgrade to Sun God on my Super Monkey, but I've changed my mind. I'm going the Necromancer route. Go 
I'm going to add another necromancer over here next to my super monkey. Let's see, I've got four necromancers. necromancers. I'm going to go ahead and buy... Hmm. Everybody's so fat today. <laughs> All these monkeys are so fat. Um, I'm going to upgrade the second path and go ahead and get a summon phoenix. So a zero, four. Let's see, this one's in range of the village. It doesn't need camo. Hmm. So we give it Arcane Blast instead. And then I'm going to save up 45,900 to upgrade it further. use my wizard, my bomb shooter, and I'm going to use Gwendolyn's second power and hit them all. And I'll use my firebird whenever I can call it. I'm going to want to upgrade my bomb shooter after I do my wizard. Make my bomb shooter a little more powerful. I'm going to throw fire at everything and then use the firebird. the fire at everything. Okay, almost enough. Alright, I'm going to upgrade to Wizard Lord Phoenix. And as soon as it's off cooldown, I'm going to use that ability. Here we go. Again, using the Phoenix ability whenever it's available. Except I'll, I'll try not to use it on 94 because I want to make sure it's available for 95. Right now I'm saving money to upgrade my bomb shooters. Okay, we'll upgrade that bomb shooter. And then on 95, I'll go ahead and use the ability when things start to get into the middle.
the I think I'll save some money and get my Spirit of the Forest. So I need twenty nine thousand seven hundred fifty for that. And just uh, use your bomb shooter ability when it's available. Okay, on 97. Hmm. I'm going to use my bomb shooter ability. I'm not going to use my Phoenix ability because I want it available for 98. So I'm just going to rely on my bomb shooter and my other abilities. So I'm going to use bomb shooter. I'm going to throw some fire at these things. Use bomb shooter. Use bomb shooter again. <laughs> and good. Okay, I have enough now, so I'm going to upgrade my druid to 250. So it'll start growing some vines across the track. Let's see, on 98, when the Moabs start getting into the center, then I'm going to use my Phoenix ability at that point. And I'll use the bomb shooter every time it's available. Okay, they're starting to get to the middle, so I'll go ahead and use that. I'm still using my bomb shooter. Yeah, I have lots of money, so I'm going to buy some more necromancers. I don't want to remove any more panels, so I'm just going to do it uh, two zero four, so they can see through the walls. Remember, each one of these necromancers gets a buff from the Prince of Darkness, so it makes them very powerful when you when used in numbers. All right, uh, let's go on 98. Okay, um, for round 100, I'm going to sell all these banana farms. And I will buy... Hmm, what can this do? I'll buy a mortar. I'm going to put it in range of the village so it can have camo. And set it right here in the circle. And I'm going to do... Can't do the biggest one. That's okay. So... I'll buy some more. Necromancers 204. Okay, and here we go for round 100. Just hit it with all your abilities just as soon as they're available. I mean, this honestly, it might not even make it to the center. <laughs> we'll see. No, it does make it. And just uh, use your bomb shooter over and over again. And yay, that is it. All the way to 100 with just a few difficulties, which we actually encountered before round. Uh, we encountered those before round 40. So if you followed along, I hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.